the challenge is actually that every single charity is appealing to exactly the same group of people and it's about 10% of the population who have got spare money and spare time to help with. And they're terribly spoiled, a lot of them. They go out a great deal, so why should they go to your event and not somebody else's event? So where it is helps a huge deal, a huge amount. If you can get Buckingham Palace, Buckingham Palace will usually attract a good crowd. Whereas just another London hotel doesn't necessarily do it. And a lot of our things we do at Lords, we do at Tower of London, top of the BT Tower, thank you very much. Uh, places that you can't get to, people you wouldn't otherwise hear. We had a huge event with President Clinton speaking, and naturally everybody wanted to hear him. And he was fabulous. And I mean, every woman in the audience fell in love with him, and quite a lot of the men. He was terrific. <laughs> um, and I mean, the best speech I've ever heard. But also, we were there, and we wouldn't have been allowed to be there had that event not happened. I suppose the most important line never ever to say it, as an event organiser is, well, never mind, it was good profile. Which always means you haven't made as much money as you were hoping to make. You have to have an absolute rigid budget, this is how much we're going to make from this event. Or you have a rigid, this is an event for profile, we're not going to try and take money off them during this one. They are going to leave loving the charity and loving the thing and wanting to come to the next thing. Because people can feel very got at in the fundraising area. So never ever fail to make the amount of money you made and say, well never mind, everybody had a good time. Because a lot of effort that gets put into that won't get put into the next event because people like to be part of a successful thing. So the venue matters, the people matter. President Clinton, Rory Bremner, not too often. Celebrities get, um, I was a celebrity once in about 1975 for about six months. And, and I know this is true because my local paper, Surrey Mirror, had a picture of me quite recently and it said, former celebrity Richard Stilgo, <laughs> underneath it, which um, <laughs> eventually it's former personality when you finally can't remember who you are or anything. But um, yeah, be nice. If you manage to get a celeb, be really nice to them, look after them, and then they will do another event for you.